Hey everybody, this is a quick introduction to hybrid teaching and the tools that will be available when we get back into the classroom. Okay, so we have a variety of webcams. This one has the camera as well as the built-in microphones. Uh, it is adjustable, oh, I'm sorry, you could also mount it to a tripod if you wanted. It's adjustable, so you could go ahead and clip it onto a smart board or whatever device you'd like, the placement would be up to you. It's plug and play, so it plugs directly into your computer and it works you know, right off the bat. We have a variety of webcams. Again, you can, this one has the, the mount so you can screw it on again. This one's a little different in that it swivels so you get different perspectives. Um, and you have the ability to mount it onto a laptop immediately or a smart board or wherever you'd like to go. The placements can be completely up to you. Okay, so this is your traditional view of Zoom. You're using your integrated camera or your FaceTime camera. When your webcam is connected, what you can do is you go down to the camera icon, click on the up arrow, you'll see your webcam in your options for camera. Click on that and you should have a new perspective. And so not terribly exciting for what we're doing in this room, but if you think about it in a classroom environment, you can do different things. Um, you can also use your webcam as a, as, instead of a classroom camera, you could use it as a document camera as well. You wanna go back, click on the up arrow, and then once again, you go back to your FaceTime camera or your integrated camera. Really simple and really straightforward to bounce back and forth between the two. You can also still utilize your share screen function, and we'll get into some of that functionality in the next instructional video. So I just wanna show you guys how easy and straightforward it is to actually you toggle back and forth between the webcams. Everyone will be issued a webcam. You'll actually be able to pick these up sometime this semester. I'm not sure of a date yet, but the hope and goal is that everybody grabs one so you can be familiar with them before the semester starts. Also, next semester, everybody will have access to a second monitor if you would like one. So this is a demonstration that I set up in a classroom at Drew. On the left, you can see what the student view would look like. Uh, on the right is the view that's coming from my computer. That's the integrated camera right there. And I'm going to toggle through, so I'm using the up arrow to go to the webcam. And the webcam is set up so you can see the classroom view, so that's the classroom looks like. I'm gonna to point to it and walk around. So this is what it would look like to your Zoom students as you were teaching to your classroom via the webcam. Okay, so here I'm running a lesson off of the computer and sharing the screen via Zoom. And so once I get into present mode then and can share, share the screen, I can run the lesson from the smart board. The smart board still works. As you can see, I'm presenting both screens. You can see that on Zoom. The touch capabilities still work. You can touch through your presentation. You can actually get out and go to a Nearpod lesson also. So you're teaching your students on Zoom still see what's happening. Uh, you can, again, you can click on different lessons. This is a Nearpod loading. So once the Nearpod loads, then students will be able to see it. Um, so you can exit your presentation. You can go through your Nearpod slides and do whatever you need to do. And then you can get back into your presentation uh, as it was before. So this is actually a student workstation that I set up. This is what your students would see while you're teaching. So this is from the traditional Zoom integrated camera. You can see students, it works just as it normally would. Students get their normal view. When you toggle the screens, this is going to be the webcam view. So the webcam view, you can walk around, talk to your students, teach your lesson as you normally would. Your students get the view of what's happening, you know, and they can still feel like they're a part of the lesson, whether they're on hybrid or it's just their day to not be in class. And this is what they see when you share your screen. So this is what happened when I was working off of the smart board. While I'm on the smart board, students can see everything happening on the smart board, including the presentation, various YouTube videos, the screencastifies, uh, even the Nearpod situation still works. So everything still works from the smart board and the student view. 
So again, we will have webcams available for teachers to check out so they can become familiar with them this semester before next semester starts. So hopefully you can start using those pretty soon. I don't know of a date yet, but I will push that out as soon as I receive one. Teachers will have access to a second monitor to utilize as well when we get back in January. The hope and the goal is that teachers will utilize that second monitor to work with their students on Zoom so they can have a student view at all times. There will be more trainings before the end of the semester, so just please keep an eye open for that. Um, PD will take place probably via video. Um, and that's it. So everybody take care, stay safe, and I hope to see you soon.